it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So we are putting together, you can see Cat in the Hat, and he's gonna be big, he's 40 inches. So um, the other challenge with this character is that when you look at the actual SVG file, you'll see that there isn't an exact border or, or thickness going all around the pieces. Because a lot of times if you think about like the Disney princesses, the outline is the same all the way around. So it's easy to put things down because you know the spacing of it. Cat in the Hat is a little bit different. Some parts it's thinner, some parts it's thicker. So we'll get to that and that's why we never glue or tape it down right away. We need to piece it all out together and make sure we're good. All right, so these are all the colored pieces. He's only three colors. He's red, white, and black. And because the black was such a big part of his image, um, just like when there's the when you have princesses with the dark black hair, I like to do the black and black glitter cardstock because then you're gonna have a lot of seams and they're gonna be open seams where you, where the colors aren't sitting on top of it to cover it. So you're gonna want the black glitter cardstock. So all right, let's get started. I'm gonna move this out of the way for a minute, and. We have our black background. So here he is, I already pieced it together. He's 40 inches, he's gonna look fabulous. Um, what you wanna do is, we know the color pieces are gonna go on top, right? So we wanna flip everything over so that we can put the tape down there. And I know this is not, this is a little bit bigger than I normally show, but I wanted you to see everything and so I know there's like little pieces here and there that you're gonna see. Um, I'll try not to lean my belly on top of the table. <laughs> All right, so let's flip this over so that we know where all the pieces go. I'm just gonna flip it like this. Okay, so we wanna just use regular tape and we're just gonna tape it down. The other thing that is a little bit different is when you, when you have your black background and it's glitter cardstock, what you wanna do is uh, you wanna get your glue gun out because the tape isn't gonna stick very well, glitter on glitter. So we're going to be using our glue gun to, to, to get everything to stick down. When you're piecing this together, two pieces at one time is what we're gonna be taping. So if you're holding this one, for instance, you wanna hold it up, press it really good against your piece and tape it while you have it pressed down. And then what you wanna do is you do wanna tape it at the edges. So you wanna go all the way, you wanna tape it as well as you can because you don't want the light to catch the opening so that you can see the seams. That's where um, when the light reflects on it is when you're gonna see the seams. So if you tape it really well, and just know that this is going on a foam board, so it will be glued down so you shouldn't see that, but, um, you know, every little thing that we do helps to minimize uh, seeing the seams. So, okay, let's put this hat down. Oh, jeez, that wasn't good. Okay, so I'm gonna press these two together with each other. I really need a good tape dispenser. <laughs> okay, let's get this. And just in time too. So this one is gonna post tomorrow on his actual birthday. It was supposed to post today, but all my videos got really messed up in case, you, if, in case you've noticed recently. All right, let's grab these two pieces and make them really close and pushed up against each other. And he's going to look amazing because all of the colored pieces are seamless. So there were no tricks involved. I mean, they just cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So they were perfect. They'll look so good. And I don't even really think you're going to notice the black seams at all. All right. We have two more pieces to put together. And then, all right, 
So now that all the pieces are put together, now we need to put them, the pairs together. So this goes with this, press it up against each other, and then we're going to tape it down right there. And get the edges. Now you don't wanna go past the edge though because again, especially against the black background, you're gonna see this clear tape, so. Do that so that's all together and now we have this piece okay let's see so I think we're all taped down pretty well So that's the back. We'll flip him over. So first you can see he, next to me. I mean, look at from the hat, his face is all the way down here. He is a big piece. <laughs> all right, so let's put him down. There we go. So you can kind of right now see the seams a little bit. Because it's not flat, it's catching a little bit of the light right there. But just know that we're gonna be gluing this down to our foam board, so when I do that, you're not gonna see that seam, right? So, and then we're gonna have the colored pieces on top. Okay, so let's bring the colored pieces over. And this is what I mean about it not having, oh, my dress, okay. You see how this is really thin, this is kind of thin, but this is kind of thick. So it just, it's not gonna be perfect. And I think that's just, um, that's the way he's drawn. And so see, and then how this has little cutouts in, but the hat goes straight over. So it really doesn't give you a clue as to where things should go. And then it's just kind of funky, right? Like a lot of times things fit in um, really well. Like if there's a little indent right here, then this piece goes up and in, but no, not with Dr. Seuss. <laughs> so when I pieced this together the first time, it just was so uneven, but I think that's just the, that's the way the character is. So, and there are very few clues as to where everything goes. So we're just gonna put him down first and then make our adjustments before we tape him down or glue him down. And this is always the case, even with ones where um, you know where things are supposed to go, there are still so many adjustments to make. Never ever glue straight down without, uh, without first doing this. Um, why is this not, see what I mean? Like it's not, is it this way? No, it has to be this way, right? but the bow is kind of sticking out. I don't remember it being like this. Okay. <laughs> the bow looks a little bit bigger than the edge, but that's okay. Um, this goes like this. And oops, this way. All right. I know this goes down like that, so you guys can still see that. And then we have the, the hands. So let's see. This is really nice because we have seams right here that is being covered up by this hand. So you're not gonna hopefully not notice the seams because of that. Um, now we have little pieces here. Let's see, this one goes near the ear, right around here. Um, then we have this little guy. Where is he? He's by the hand, like, let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to 
think something like this. Oh, here. And then we have this piece over here, I think. Oh, this goes like, so it's not really straight. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> and then this little piece goes over like this. Okay, I think that's it. These are extra pieces. Okay, oh no, this one goes across here. It's a connection of the brim. And I think this is the piece that doesn't belong. Okay. All right, so we have all our pieces. Let's kind of look at this and see if there's any adjustments we want to make. And I already have my glue gun heating up, so you should do the same if you're doing this step by step with me. So, okay, in the picture, this lines up with this. This lines up more, I guess, like that. So that looks better. This bow is so crazy to me. It's like it's hanging off. So weird. Okay, <laughs> we have this. Let's see. This fits in. I almost feel like this is not right. actually better okay I think we have everything so maybe this goes down just a little bit no Okay, I think we're good. So now what we need to do is just kind of glue everything down. This is the way he looks. So I've got my hot glue gun going. I'm going to do, um, I'm gonna lift up and do a little bit at a time. So here we go. And with this in place, then I'm going to do this. And the nice thing is because we're using glitter cardstock, this red and the white won't, um, you, it won't feel the heat of the glue gun. So it's not going to warp the paper or show through on the other side. And the other nice thing is I am using glitter cardstock from Ground Up Creations. So it's 300 GSM. So I can, you know, fold up and bend a little bit and it's not going to hurt the cardstock at all. So I'm just going to kind of pull up and glue down a little bit so that I don't lose my place. But then afterwards, once it's down, I'm going to glue down the rest of the piece. So little by little, I'm pulling it up and gluing. Okay, so I've glued down most of the pieces. Let's glue down this piece. And then what's nice is anything that's still flapping afterwards, we can either hit it with a glue gun or you can put a little bit of um, like the glue dots down and that will be enough because we're not asking the glue dot to hold the whole thing together. We're just asking for it to not, you know, like flap around. So that's when it's okay to use tape when it's not the primary, um, the primary source of holding it down. So 
I'm going to lift this up a little bit. Oh, and I moved it. So this is actually not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Okay, so this bottom half is down. We still need to glue down quite a bit, but each piece has been, has touched some glue and is down. So I'm going to continue my way up before I come back to get that. And that I just shifted a little bit. And then pulling off the glue strings as they, I got a little bit of glue on my fingers, you want to pull that away before it starts to catch on to other things. So just move that. All right, so that's down. I'm going to do the eyes last. Now we have just the hat. Okay. So I'm going to press down while I lift up so I don't lose my place of the hat. And also from a while back, I did thing one and thing two. I think with glitter cardstock, that would look adorable too. Next to this 40 foot cat, you can make that because it's all blue, right? So you can make that, you know, not off the mat. Um, make sure, or it would be maybe a little bit off the mat, but the blue pieces would be 12 inches or 11 and a half inches. Okay, so we are all down. So I'm gonna flip it over a little bit. And now that way I can work this way. So I know that's down. And this is gonna look so good. I'm gonna grab another glue stick in preparation. Okay. Move that back up a little bit. This is gonna look so cute. All right, so I do have a trick with the foam board. Because he's 40 inches, we're going to have to glue together the foam board. So we will, that will be a good to watch. And he's so slender that I think we're gonna be able to use the same, you know, 20 by 30 foam board. We're just gonna cut it, not in half, but we'll use the leftovers to um, glue on. Okay. And with this cardstock being 300 GSM, if the the majority of it is glued down, it's not gonna be flapping like it would if it was regular cardstock. So that's the other nice thing. So this is, yeah, that's totally down. This is totally down. Okay, so I'm gonna move him this way so we can do the hat. Okay, got my new glue stick in. And I get questions on this all the time. So this little guy, is so awesome. It's by Shorebonder, so it has a stand. It's cordless, right, because you saw me pick it up. 
It has a stand that you can easily put down and it has a little catcher to catch your like glue drippings. It's a wonderful, wonderful glue gun. <laughs> and it has a precision tip, so. All right, so let's get this down. And you can see this is super easy. But the only reason why we don't use the glue gun on our other projects is when you have a light colored cardstock, um, it will show through shimmer paper, it might show through. And then if you're using a thinner glitter cardstock, it will show through. So it's, it's really important that you have really thick paper and you just kind of know what you're working with. So the face, I'm gonna, you don't want to bend it where you're causing creases in the paper. So I'm going to do a little bit at the bottom here, let it sit down, and then I'm going to lift this part up, which really I think if we got the this part right here, we would be good. Oh my gosh, I think we're done with this piece. I'm just gonna do the eyes. So I'm gonna flip him around just to make sure that the eyes are in the correct place and that he's not looking weird. It's, it's always hard for me to see the eyes um, sideways. So I think that looks good, okay. Move him back before the glue is done. Okay. Are you ready? I'm gonna lift him up. <laughs> I mean, he's so big that I had to step so far back, right? But look how beautiful he is. Okay, so now let's put him on a blackboard. The black foam board, I buy this at the Dollar Tree. It's a dollar. So it's a great value for this. Now, if you notice, so I am not gonna be supporting this whisker. It's a good thing that it's 300 GSM because it's not flimsy, but that foam board will not cut well right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move him over to the edge so that we have this little piece to support his hat later, okay? So right now I'm gonna make sure that he is I want him lined up here so that I'm not cutting this edge. Okay, so I'm gonna do this so you can kinda see it. Grab a white pencil and just trace the outline. We're gonna be cutting slightly on the inside of the outline so you will not see this mark and then you will also not see the foam board. And it's just easier that way because um, you don't need to support it all the way to the edge, right? This is, first of all, it's multiple layers of cardstock. And if 80% of your piece in, in the core is supported, it's going to stand up, propped up against a table um, or the wall. So, and it just looks better that way. So, you're going to cut slightly on the inside of the outline and you're just not gonna worry about it. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about it. Okay, so he has little whiskers. 
Again, I'm not gonna cut around the whiskers, so those whiskers will not be supported. So you will have to be just a little bit careful that you're not bending it or letting it hit against things. Okay, so here is this piece. And that's the other thing that's nice about using 300 GSM paper is that it's so easy to trace around. Okay, so I've got a good trace. I'm gonna move this to the side. So you can see his outline, right? Okay, so let me move this over. I'm gonna grab my favorite tool for this. This is the Cricut knife. All right, so I like to do a continuous cut so that it's nice and smooth. So for instance, I'm gonna go inside the bow right here and I'm gonna do this all the way to the edge. So from here, I'm gonna go down Oopsies, I should have gone in this way. Okay. So you see, it's here is my outline. I cut way inside, but I'm not gonna worry about it. It's going to support my figure. Okay, so I'm gonna move this aside. I'm gonna do this side now. And I'm gonna go Actually, I want to go this way so that I can see the line better. <clears throat> so this is the bow right here. And then this is gonna be the face. And this piece right here we'll use for the top part of the hat when we add to it. So you can see that was, I mean, this is not going to be an exact figure, but you can still see his shape, right? And it's going to give him the support that we need, so. Moving him around, okay. So for the hat, we could do something like this. And again, we don't need to support it all the way, right? Like if we just support a little bit, it's going to stand. So let's see if something like this would work. So we're putting him back, and we just want to make sure that everything was cut well. Okay, so this little piece is kind of sticking out a little bit here. Let me just make sure. Oh, actually, the top part right here. So I want to get that a little bit. I think that's the only thing that I'm seeing. So I'm just going to cut off a little bit right here. There. And then this isn't going to work. So let's turn him on the other side. Um, you know what, let's glue him down first just so that he's more stable. So what I like to do is I like to glue at the bottom first, okay? And that gives you the base. So just do like a line just to get it down. Now do a little bit on this side. And you saw, I did not squeeze a lot. This is just to get him down because what we're gonna do next is we're gonna lift him up and start gluing it down and slowly laying him down. So it's gonna give it the support that we need, um, but it, the whole thing does not need to be completely glued down. It just needs to be glued down enough 
to hold it together and then we can fix it afterwards. So, okay. So you can see, I don't wanna ruin my cardstock at all. So I'm just doing a little bit and rolling it down. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there because I'm gonna need another glue stick. Okay. All right, so he's down. We've glued him to the bow tie. And just as I move him down, I'm letting him lay down, so. So you can see, actually, I mean, it's a little flimsy up here because there's no support right there, but he's actually doing pretty well, right? So now I'm gonna flip him over so we can see what's left. And in fact, I feel like I wanna trim this just a little bit, but don't cut down onto your paper. I just don't want that to show at all. Okay, so now we know That would actually be really good, right? And I don't know if he needs a little bit more support. If he does, I'm wondering if I should just cut from here. So I think, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so let's see. I put him down. All right, I'm just gonna wing this, okay? Normally I would be a little bit better about this, but he's so big and it's hard to get him on camera. So I'm gonna cut off a piece and then we'll just start winging it, okay? So this is not bad, it needs to be thinner. So actually, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna cut off this part right here. There, okay? So what you wanna do is for this piece, we wanna make sure that it has the support glue here and back here. So we're gonna need a lot of glue and we gotta work fast, okay? All right, so here we go. Now we can give it a little bit more support by doing the glue down here. It's not gonna look good, but this piece is for me, so I'm okay with that. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue right here. I'm gonna give it a couple seconds. I'm gonna turn off my glue gun so I don't burn myself later. <laughs> and I think we're done. So I'm just gonna give this a couple more seconds before I lift it up just to let it dry just a little bit more. But other than that, he's gonna look amazing. And in fact, I think I'm gonna flip it over real quick. I wonder if I can do that so you can see it, okay? Oh yeah. Okay, so here we go. Yay, okay. So yeah, it's, see, it's stable. I'm holding it with one hand, right? I'm gonna put this up here. time. Happy birthday, Dr. Seuss. And let me know. Give me your feedback. I'll see you later. Bye.